And now for the best moment of today, look at this. We have the forbidden speed. We have a triple speed boot. <laughs> If we go and take a look at my live streams and we go all the way down, we find the day one live stream, which was six hours long and it was streamed exactly two months ago. I started playing on this new server, on this new account, on the day 13 of October. Today is the day 13 of December. And today we are going to improve a lot of power. We are going to improve a lot of stuff because our main goal is to actually try and finally get to rank 3 and just, you know, just see how far are we from the others as well. So we can say that this episode will be mostly focused on speed, because if I go and take a look at my sword speed, we are at, at 137k, enemy speed 148k. We need to attack first in order to win, even though... Can I... Can I do something over here? No? Maybe? Actually, I can win. <laughs> Actually, I can win without the speed, but this is not the goal, okay? We need to outspeed Chasm to have a clean win. That was a little bit unexpected there, but our goal is to get a lot of speed today. And we are going through a lot of different methods, a lot of things that I can upgrade on my account that will give me speed. We are starting with 5.7 million power with 61 speed, 61,500 speed. So let's do some speedrun, shall we? First of all, we start with the battle tower. And before we start powering up, I'm at 11 million power right now with my top three Pokemon. And if we go and take a look at the rankings, I have just a little bit less. So let's see what my power looks like at the end of the video. With the battle tower completed, we are also going to try our luck on the challenge mode of the battle tower. This is also because we can get cool rewards if we achieve a specific amount of points. Never mind, um, I didn't even move. <laughs> I got literally destroyed and I did not even have a chance to move. Okay, let's get some speed on our talents. And similar to talents, we also have team technology, which we can improve our speed a little bit over here. So I am going to attack the team boss really quick. And after using my team boss chances, Dialga should be dead, yes. And I got myself some team technology points, which I can improve my speed a little bit over here as well. Still on the team mode, we go over here to the team building Pokemon Center, and I have this last level of speed to power up. Let's go. And let's go to somewhere else. Let's go to our gym skills. We are going to refine some gym skills really quick. So look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. And let's try my luck on the hardest one because I would need to get a good percentage and a good speed flat in this same thing. And I'm also using physical attack, so this this is a hard one. Oh, losing a little bit of physical attack for 11 speed. Yes, please, don't mind if I do. And we are out of gym points, so we are done over here. Oh, let's do Pokemon League really quick. Because with Pokemon League, you can actually buy some of those friendship packs blue something yes friendship card packs and i usually always spend like at least one time so 50 diamonds each trying to be lucky sometimes i'm not lucky sometimes i get garbage but sometimes look at this 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 is kind of worth it and just as a disclaimer the definition of being worth it or not depends on each person's account and look at that we already have plus one percent speed i was not even aware of this one and it, it's just just perfect just on time and for the purposes of this video i was trying to filter over here by speed but apparently i already used this like yesterday so i have nothing to use today now let's go over here on my z rings because i have a beautiful surprise waiting we are on level 69 of my z bracelet my first z bracelet of the account and now we upgrade to level 70 and we have a lot, but a lot of resources already waiting. This will not give me speed, the first Z bracelet. Okay, only the second Z bracelet would give me speed, but this gives me a lot of power, so I'm using it today. Okay, we are done. Let's move to the next one. The next one is related to Forest of Arvis. We get a bunch of items to upgrade the training of our Pokemon. If we go over here, we go to the train section 
and we go to enhanced special training and we can see I was level, I, I had everything max at level 100, right? But that's because I did not have those normal enhancers and I could not break through to the next level, which means that now I have enough and off we go. We are going to lock everything and we are going to upgrade. And now that every single one is maxed except one, I am not going to use more end of war proofs because those are useful if I need to level up two at a time. So in order to save resources for the next level, we are over here max 300 and now I need 70. Ah, uh, okay, this will take uh, this will take a while. But because of unlocking this new one, I unlocked more stabilizers. So let's honestly, only for today's video, okay, let's go over here and we upgrade a speed one. And there we go, we got a speed stabilizer. For the other ones, I'm just going to place them all like this. I could upgrade it a little bit more, but for today it's fine. And you want to know something new that I also just unlocked? The second friendship. What I like to call a second friendship. In order to unlock a second friendship, you need to have your main friendship at level 90. And by now, I already have it at level 91. Back then, I did not have enough. We unlocked the second friendship. This can go up to level 1000. And if I go over here and I use just one so that I can show you, for example, level 1 to level 25, you can see that I get a bunch of stats. So I'm going to the ancient relic i'm going to complete this over here really quick and now with all the currency that i get from the ancient relic i'm going to the store and i'm going to buy every single item that provides me exp for my second friendship and i'm going to reset i usually reset this like 10 times a day but today i'm going to reset until i have nothing else left my god i am finally done i refresh this like 30 times but it is worth it okay we are going over here on the second friendship we click on level up and i i, I guess we just wait And look at this, it was for sure worth saving up. We just crossed 6 million power with this little thing. <laughs> Look at this, it's going, it's still going, it's beautiful. Oh my god, my whole screen just bugged. We went up to level 361 of the second friendship with a bunch more speed. I, I, I don't know, yes, please let me, let me, huh? <laughs> Look at this! It looks so cool. Okay, okay. We are at 62,658 speed. So we went up by like 1,100, something like that. You guys might not think it's much, but imagine if you get like 1,100 speed every day, which will probably not happen, but it would be awesome. Oh yeah, I am over here because I need to evolve two more birds. Okay, we need to evolve this guy. And we also need to evolve this guy, which we don't have friendship items, but it's okay because we do have uni shards dropping on the master dungeons so it's totally fine for me to just go over here and try to farm those friendship items because at the same time i'm getting unisha drops and with this we've all fletchender into talon flame let's go those give you speed on the pokedex those give you speed on the book and if we go and take a look at our zation we have a little bit more speed. And now for the best moment of today, we are going to start using finally a full Rage Giga set. I have this boot level 77 and this level 77 boot has actually insane stats. If I go and show you guys, look at this. We have the forbidden speed. We have a triple speed boot with also a speed stat. And it's actually very well refined as well. Like I was very lucky with this one and I am... I, I can't wait. Look at this. 62,869 speed. I have no idea how much speed this will give me. It will be, it may be disappointing. I don't know, but I don't think it will be. It will not be disappointing. It will not be disappointing for sure. We go and equip. We have, wh 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 wait, hold on. Hold on a minute. We went from 6 million and 500K or 6 million and 55K, I mean to 6.3 million we are at 71,000 speed just because of this triple speed boot and we are not done yet you guys think we're done yet we are not done yet we are actually going to make that boot hopefully 
level 95. I just need to go and exchange some gears, some accessories, and I'll be right back. We have our first food of the day over here, level 95, and police crit. It credit. Let's go. Level 95 boot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And with this, we are at 75,000 speed. Just because of a simple boot. We are not done yet. Because you see this gear, I can finally refine it. I finally do not need this last stat anymore. I can just lock, for example, the physical defense over here. Honestly, these substats are freaking amazing. But I want more speed on the last one, okay? I'm going to be greedy and I want more speed on the last one. Honestly, I should be locking the HP instead because HP is the one that gives me the most power. And I really doubt that I will get like better stats than I already have right now. But I really want the speed. Something like this, losing a little bit of HP, losing special defense and getting speed. Something like this, we actually got more power somehow. And if we look at the speed, 76,000 speed, let's go. I guess for now it can stay like that, because the last one needs to be this one over here. If we go and take a look at the pendant, we can get physical attack on the first one, we can get some percentage on the third one, HP or some percentage defense for example, or percentage HP as well, and we can also get speed on the last one. So that's what we are going to try and obtain, which is mostly speed on the last stat. Okay, okay, this is finally the one, by the way, I did a huge mistake a while ago. I got some stats that I did not want of, and I just had to refine this all over again, like from literally from zero. And okay, okay, we are finally going somewhere. Once again, we are almost 77,000 speed and we are actually going to 77,000 speed. All we need now is to power up our Regigigas pendant to plus 95 as well. And now we are ready, okay? Our level 95 green accessory gives us 39,000 EXP. We go up to level 93. Technically, I could upgrade this green accessory up to a purple one, which provides me more EXP. And shout out to the player who recently talked about this in our Discord server. But in this specific situation, since I need to power up more in the future, and I technically, I am not at the highest level. I, I am not level 100 yet, so the accessories can go up to level 100 i can play it slow maybe this crits which it uh, didn't okay it did not crit but yo you know i can play it slow it's fine and we are finally 77,000 speed 77,132. and with all of this we are at almost 6.5 million power on our sword without investing strike cards today because technically we are going to invest strike cards that's our last resource but let's take a look at our battle against chasm we are going to compare our speed we are going to see how much speed chasm has chasm has like 148 if i'm not wrong so we are at 170 we we we, we are at 170 we already outspeed chasm let's go okay Okay, do we remove shields with this? The spell shields? Yes, thank you. And now we just do like this, move again. We do like that, we move again. We do like that, we move again. Let's go. Without a single strike card, actually, we were able to take down rank 3, finally. But hold on a second, we need to check a little bit more. I need to see how much speed the rank 1 has. To see if it's actually possible to outspeed them, which is highly unlikely, but I really want to check it out. Rank 1, 181 speed. Wait, hold on. Hold on, this is achievable though. I can possibly outspeed rank 1. Uh, that does not mean that I can take down rank 1, but it means that I can spe outspeed rank 1. You know what I'll be doing right now? You know what? You know what? Let's go. Not going for the max though. Let's go for 600. Let's actually go for 600. It's a beautiful number because technically we will be officially at 5,000 speed and we went up to 85,000 speed. No, this is this outspeeds it, right? Pretty sure this will outspeed Luffy. Now let's go, boys. The moment of the truth. Can my sword outspeed no, what is going on over here? I am so confused. There might have been some miscalculations on my side. 
<laughs> but it's fine. It's completely fine. I am happy with what we achieved today. I cannot be way too hungry. We are rank 3 of the arena, rank 3 in power, 12 million power. And honestly, I'm really, really happy with the results that we got today because this basically just means that now I can finally focus my gears on Zamazenta because poor guy, look at him. Oh, and by the way, they are level 94. So technically I can just level them up, like level Arceus up, level Zamazenta up. I could just do something like this. Technically I can get more power today, especially because I can change the gears of Zamazenta a little bit. I can just put gears on Arceus because Arceus is completely naked. Look at him. And this would probably be probably my highest power possible, 12.1 million. And if we go over there to the rankings once again, it's still 12 million. Okay, it's very close, very close. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun and a lot of work just preparing this video in general. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.